Good day everyone. A production of white cement starts here with the slurry mills. This is actually a, quite an old plant uh, back from 1940 something. A huge civil works, uh, tall buildings, a lot of staircases, a lot of equipment, spare parts, standby equipment, uh, rubbish all over the place, I guess rats, uh, cats, the boogeyman comes out of night, cranes, motors, drives, pumps, whatever you want you can find here. I will not bore you with too many details about quality, about proportioning, Plus, this is uh, a know-how to be kept secret by the plant and I'm not to reveal it. As I said, it starts here with the slurry mills, three in this case, with the feed on the right side. It's better when they work, right? Uh, two of the mills are turning one direction, the other one in the other direction, uh, somebody messed up, obviously. The feed to these mills is basically high-grade limestone, in this case mixed with silica, some sand, and kaolin. Kaolin, here it is, with a high content of alumina oxide. This is fed to the mill directly with water to produce slurry. Proportioning is, as far as I'm concerned, not very accurate. Just more or less. So long mills, long uh, length diameter ratios, open circuit, uh, ball mills, two compartments. This is the discharge end. They obviously generate quite some heat, thus steam. And the slurry falls down through this uh, channel. You can notice some greenish color in it. Uh, basically this green will follow us through all the way along to the cement. It's basically an, an iron uh, oxide, FeO. Yeah, a, a few kilos per hour, sort of very inefficient uh, grinding system as far as I'm concerned. A process engineer could put his nose in there and make these uh, certain improvements. Anyway, so the slurry is pumped to slurry tanks and from the slurry tanks it goes to the uh, slurry feed system to the kiln. And this is the feed system, basically you monitor how much you're feeding to the kiln. The overflow is going down directly uh, to the kiln feed. And this is the kiln, typical wet process, uh, long kiln with internal uh, heat exchanger. The one on the right has not been working for some 20 years now. The background you have a bag filter, the stack. Uh, you could see the girth gear, some tires, some patches on the kiln. 
There in the foreground you have the extractor uh, to the kiln hood pulling out some water vapor and in the background you have the primary fan. From the other side of the hood it says there gas it is gas, believe me a bit of a mess in front of this hood housekeeping is not a priority here so details of the, the burner system you have uh, first of all on top the burner pipe with the gas inlet on the foreground and in the background the primary air and underneath you have the duct to extract water vapor out of the hood and at the bottom you have the water injection the two pipes there to quench the clinker Again the primary air and the gas manifold. The kiln atmosphere is very clean, very clear, there is no dust. You can see about uh, 30 meters down the kiln. And the process of uh, quenching the clinker with water, we can see it here. And in, in slow motion, you can actually see the water spray. There it is. You can see the water spraying on top of the clinker bed. And this water comes out of these uh, nozzles there at the end of the two, two pipes. And this water vapor is pulled out by the duct to avoid cooling down the, the burning zone. quite a simple system but it seems to work and our product is clinker green clinker to produce white cement again this is because of the presence of uh, iron uh, still quite hot about uh, I would say about 70 Celsius and this green clinker mixed uh, with gypsum There we are, about uh, 4 or 5% gypsum goes into a typical ball mill, in this case a closed circuit ball mill, uh, two compartments with a dynamic separator and we see the feed end and material entering the mill to produce so-called white cement uh, I would say let's be politically correct of white cement I hope you enjoyed this little tour about white cement as much as I enjoyed making the video and editing it uh, look forward to our next one probably a trip uh, more interesting for our non-technicians on board Okay, bye-bye.